I will try to explain you how to connect two of these Ultimaker 2 Plus fans in parallel without destroying this connector so you can keep it for the future we won't need this for room this is just to show we need a cream tool something like this i have the pa09 plier this tool is very nice it's not really expensive it's around 50 euros something like that but it really works you could use a cheaper one of course but it will take you more time to, to do a perfect crimp so good player we will need solder wire molex uh, the male and the female versions and some connectors for the cables and of course red and black wire or some that you can use to remember which one is the plus and the negative also very important some shrinking he shrinking came I don't know the name of this it's shrinking something it's black when it hits it compress around the cable and then you have a really solid and safe connection here we have the basic parts that we will use this of course are just to show where stuff goes fan one fan two with all the stuff we saw before then we have the male molex red and black wire red and black wire did with crimps i don't know the name exactly of this part but i will post it below on the on the comments and of course a new molex to insert the crimped cables when it's finished this way we will need to solder here and here the plus uh, red and black red and black uh, i need to check the order of this and of course we will need some shrinking stuff so this stays as clean as possible let's begin we will start with the male molex and the red and black cable here we have the soldering iron ready you don't need anything fancy to do this first let me review one very important thing on the ultimaker 2 fans the yellow is the positive and the green is the negative and I know this because as you can see the yellow goes on the positive and the green goes on the negative now that we know that the yellow is the positive and the green is the negative we insert the male molex so we actually can remember that we will have to Put the red here and the black here. All right. We just a little black mark. Since we have to do two, we do the same on the other. All right. Okay. Now, with the help of this thing, of course you don't need this, but I prefer it because I don't like to burn my hands. Now we grab this. Don't pinch it too much. now we grab the soldering iron and the wire and we will put some on the connector whoa let me see okay on the bottom and on the top remember to have a really clean tip otherwise you will have all this smoke okay you don't need too much just a bit then we get the other and we repeat again the same process iron then some okay clean and repeat again perfect now we have the two male parts ready we'll do the same on the wires Now we get the first male. Let me just 
and now the, with the tip of the soldering iron as clean as possible well this will be actually really hard with the camera let's see basically because you have coated now it's really easy to join them all right and that's it this is one ready of course now we should use some shrinking thingy just cut to pieces let me remove this it's far from perfect but will work Insert the shrinking thingy. I should, I should I should Google how this is called in English. Now that you have this, we need some heat. <laughs> Fantastic! You can press it by hand but be careful because it will be hot but when it's cooling down if you press it by hand it will compress even better and will you, you will have a much more a steady wrap now the next this one should be a, a little bit closer to the connector so let's be careful with the other keep it moving so you don't burn, you don't burn anything and be careful when doing this okay now we have one ready and quite nice okay now we have the two connectors ready and now we will move to the crimp and final touch now let me show you this is where the cable crimps, which is something. Whoa, this is really small, sorry. This has two parts. The bottom one is where the grip around the plastic of the wire occurs, and the top is where the wire actually grips. For the crimp tool I have, you need to prepare this before using it because these two grips the one for the cable and the one for the cable wire both have a, a B shape that will actually make it harder to use so to use the crimp tool you need to square it a bit and the same goes for the middle part which is actually impossible to show in the video but you will now you can avoid this but the crimp result will be absolutely horrible so basically you need to square it a bit and now we move to the parallel cables of the red ones and we will twist them this is actually the hard part with the thumb and the index you hold the wire and the bottom of the crimp with the index this is for me the easiest way to do it because as soon as you have this tool on the hand everything is harder so and the first we will crimp and we press down the one of them in the middle the wire is safe now we move to the plastic which will be slightly bit harder with this double wire use the tip of the crimp tool to surround the wire and then with the crimp tool you crimp it for good be careful when removing it because you actually can break not so easy with two cables it's much easier when you only have one but looks good not fantastic but good mm -hmm. 
good enough. And now we do the same with the black. We change the shape and square it a bit. And the same with the one for the wire. This time, since the wire is so fat, we will crimp a bit that area. Now we move to the 2.9 and crimp this mother. This one actually looks worse than the other. If you actually do this, you will learn why the good crimp tools do cost three, four hundred euros or dollars. They are really, really expensive, the good cream tools. But this should suffice. Okay, here we go. We have our little cable. Let's zoom out. As you can see, we have the the plugs for the fans ready and the cables ready to be inserted on a Molex. All right. One trick that is actually something very silly and actually everybody knows it, but I never found a video showing this. So. As soon as you insert it, it has a lock mechanism, which is really neat. So if you insert the negative here and then positive here, and actually it's wrong, because I think that actually it is, the positive was on the, on the other side, you will need to use a sharp thingy to unlock the this clamp pressing it down and the same for the other all right by doing this you can change the molex positive negative at any given time okay so here we have it the molex with the parallel I highly recommend that you get a multimeter and you check that actually the negative goes to the negative. This one is okay, this one is okay. So remember to check the cables before you use them. So that's it. If you have any further questions, leave them in the comments. If not, don't. I hope you enjoyed the video, if not, I'm sorry, I'm deeply sorry, and if you did, uh, leave a thumbs up or, you know, a cookie, emoji, anything you want. See ya.